Hey everybody, Jay here from Modern Mississauga, and today we're with the all-new 2018 newly restyled Acura RLX, and uh, Acura calls this their luxury sport sedan. So let's start off with the front, a uh, couple of changes. Uh, there's that new diamond pentagon grille that you've seen on other Acura models uh, up front. Uh, let's see if we can get a better shot of the jewel eye headlights. Uh, yeah, that's actually a really nice look there. Uh, so you have your four, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, for your regular lights and those two I can't really see them, but they are there and those are your high beams as well uh, These cool things are your uh, washer fluid um, Things for the lights to keep them clean kind of a cool touch there And your LED fog lights which aren't on but they are right there uh, Overall pretty good front end look uh, the hood is uh, re-sculpted as well And you can tell there's uh, where's my finger there it is so it kind of goes like that and curves around uh, there's a better look at it right there, so you can kind of see the, uh, the depth of it uh, with the restyling. Uh, let's go around, take a side profile look. 19 inch tires here, and they back up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. There you go, so that's a nice side profile. It's not, uh, it's not flashy, it's a rather conservative design, and, uh, and for me, uh, that's what I think all luxury cars should have, just that nice, simple, sleek, modern look to it. Um, I have with me the Elite trim and small differences between that and the tech. Uh, one of them is the chrome door handles as opposed to the body colored door handles. Uh, this is the hybrid model. Uh, we'll go into specs um, in the driving portion. Uh, so that's the hybrid badging right there. Uh, integrated turn signals. And uh, oh, again, overall uh, good look uh, for the uh, 2018 RLX. There's your uh, rear quarter look. Let's go around to the back. Uh, newly restyled LED taillights. Has that flowing look, kind of like the BMW uh, 7 Series has. Uh, very good look, very clean, very modern as well. Uh, dual tailpipes right there. Uh, into the trunk, actually before into the trunk, there is, can we see it? Uh, there's your rear view camera anyway, it's, uh, it's there. So one touch open. Oh, this is a terrible look. I'm gonna close that up and we'll look at that again in the daylight. Oops, one more push. Uh, this is the super handling all-wheel drive uh, trim, hence the SHAWD, SH in blue for the hybrid, and there's your RLX badging right there. So again, very, very cool flowing design uh, with the taillights. Run around to the driver, also known as passenger side, uh, gives you the same uh, profile as well. Um, overall, good look. Uh, I like the minor restyles to make it a little more current, and um, yeah, so the outside score as well, I like the rim design as well. Uh, we'll be right back with a look at the inside of the 2018 RLX. And we're back with the 2018 RLX. Gonna quickly show you the front because it is rainy outside, a little windy. And uh, let's be quick with this. So the guitar does not come as part of the car. There are 339 liters of storage space back here. Reason that's so small, because of the hybrid uh, battery, electric batteries uh, positioned right up there. But, you know, fairly uh, decent space if you want to get some uh, road trip time in for a couple of suitcases. Let's close up the trunk, take a look at the rear seats, and get out of the rain. So pretty good looking rear seat here, 14-speaker uh, system. Uh, we'll get in that, into that uh, shortly. The seats do not go down. There is no middle pass-through, so you're giving up a little bit of functionality here with the hybrid option. Now, I sit in the driver's seat with my seat all the way back, and as you can see, there is a lot of room for my feet. I'm not a huge guy. I'm uh, maybe 5'9", 100 and something pounds. <laughs> Um, but yeah, lots of room in the back seat. Heated rear seats back here, three stages as well. Matt pockets, a uh, little speaker there. I'm not sure if I can get a good angle of it, but the cool three speaker system back here. Uh, yeah, there's one, there's the second one, and there's the third one. Um, very cool look um, and very functional as well. So there's that. And there's uh, just a good look up front. Let me get the sunshade open for a little more light. So uh, pretty good looking uh, interior. Uh, we'll get more into that shortly. And nice long uh, right armrest for the driver, left armrest for the passenger, or we can call them central armrests. I'm gonna show you how the rear shades work and how cool is that? Very functional, accurate, good work. So you lift up your little tab here and both the main window and that little side window. And uh, there you go. And that's how you keep the sunshade up on the rear. Um, yeah, I like it. Very, uh, <laughs> very cool. So let's get out of the rear seats. Oh, there's a quick shot of the Krell audio system. Well, uh, one of the speakers anyway. All right, 
That's the ground with the snow and the ice and the stuff, and there's the car beeping. All right, back into where the warmth is. So let's start with, what do we want to start with? Let's start down here with the gear shift. It's the electronic one, and it's uh, kind of a staple on the Acura side now. There's no lever. It's push buttons, and there's a safety that the reverse is pull in so you don't push anything by accident. You can push to neutral, push to drive, push to sport, but you can't push down for reverse. Has to be an intentional motion right there. Uh, the Elite trim comes with a surround view camera, which is on your right, as well as your regular rear view camera, as opposed to a multi-angle camera on the tech version of the uh, 2018 Acura RLX. Put the car back into park so we're not moving at all. Uh, I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about the infotainment system. I'm gonna need a glove for this one. Oh, sorry, shaky hand. Come on, glove. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, there's a good shot of the floor mat. So, this is your kind of main go to screen, it's your touch screen. And I was worried because it's all touch, there's nothing for the audio, the uh, HVAC stuff um, as far as fan speed. So, there's either on or there's off. But because I have big clunky winter gloves, there they are. It's surprisingly responsive. So I'm just gonna tap that and you can adjust your fan speed. Oops. Accordingly, I'm gonna bring it back down a bit. And uh, to X out, you just go up there. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that it's a very responsive touchscreen. Colors change, I chose red. I think there's six or seven different colors there as well. Uh, to change your direction, uh, there's a button there. There's a button there for the passenger. Um, yeah, so let's, oops. Oops, stop, 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 stop. All right, anyways, uh, I like that it's responsive. I would like it more if there was just another button here uh, as far as getting me more touch controls. A uh, little cool gimmicky thing. Uh, you wanna bring the heat down, it goes blue. You wanna bring the heat up, it goes red. Very cool, very f nice, very, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice thing to look at. The volume knob is present. It also goes in, so you kinda get a flush look. I keep it out because I use it and smartly when I flip through the steering wheel, Acura has their volume controls on the left side, which is where it should be. Um, everything here controls what happens on the screen up there. So I'm on the navigation screen now. If I wanna to go to the phone screen, I just hit the phone button right there. And that gets me that. Uh, we get back into the navigation screen. Um, yeah, and it's, it's easy to, to run through. Uh, there's your circle your round dial and you push in for your enters for whatever it is you want. A little storage section right there, two cup holders. Let me get rid of that one that gives you a good look at it right there. Uh, we do the gear shift to the electronic parking brake, which is right there as well. Not an ashtray, folks, because it's just not an ashtray and you shouldn't smoke in cars. Uh, heated and cool seats. One, two, three for the hots. One, two, three for the cools. Uh, pretty nice there. I'm not sure how I feel about the double stack screen. I like it because there's functionality there that you don't have to look down and look up, look down, look up, and you have two separate entities right there. But it just, it, I feel like it lags behind a little bit as far as what other uh, other vehicles in the class offer. Um, I also think that they could have squared this off a little more, made the screen a touch bigger, but that's just uh, my two cents. We'll look in here, which is the center console. There's a lot of stuff and a lot of space in here. So the sliding tray, you got room for a wallet, uh, phone cord, USBs in there, um, pack of gum, and uh, yeah, so there's uh, plenty of space in there. But it opens up only on this side. Like it doesn't open up traditionally like that. Um, good for the driver, not so good for the passenger if they're looking to reach in and grab whatever it is that they want or they need out of there. Um, there's a heads up display. I think we can we see it. There we go. That's better. We should be able to see it from there. I usually don't like heads up displays because I'm going to dig through the menus, uh, menu options and, and to find out what exactly it is that I want to do with it. But Acura has made it very cool. So push that and it's off. Push that and it's on. That's the button right there. And that's to raise or lower the height of the screen. Very cool. Very functional. Very, um, very easy to get to. And uh, that's your standard frightening and darkening. Let's look at the steering wheel. Uh, I don't know how much I can get. Yeah, that should look good. Uh, pretty good uh, feel for the wheel. Uh, heated steering wheel ha activates really quickly. I really like that. Um, pretty standard stuff for the course. Um, 
sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, I forget my train of thought. So let's go to something else. Here are um, your lane departs, your parking assist monitors, um, and a few other cool goodies right there. That's the button you push to get the headlight washers activated. A couple memory seats, uh, memory positions for your seats right there, and everything else is pretty standard. Um, what I'll do next is the in-car portion, and we'll go through the engine and uh, some of the other cool things about the vehicle. Um, okay, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back. And we're back with the 2018 Acura RLX. Uh, we'll do a couple of quick things before we start doing the driving portion. So the motor is a 3.5 V6 engine, throwing out a combined between the regular uh, gas motor and the hybrid motor. Uh, battery motor, sorry, uh, 377 horse, 314 pound-feet of torque all through a seven-speed automatic transmission. You have your paddle shifters right there and the negatives on that side. Uh, what else? We went to the 19-inch tires. Uh, interesting, this is $4,000 less than the 2017 model. So pretty huge incentive to at least can put this on your short list. Um, usually car prices go up and up and up every year, but the fact that it's four grand less, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so let's put the sheet aside for a sec. And let's do some driving here and get all the other things out of the way. All right, so uh, yeah, car and drive, nice and easy. Um, what I really like is the driving dynamics of the car. Um, it's, it's a super handling all wheel drive and uh, it does just that. It's very sturdy around corners, uh, very, uh, very secure, holds the uh, road quite nicely. Pickup and acceleration, very, very smooth, very quick, uh, very crisp. Um, RLX is kind of a sleeper car uh, to me because you know people will look towards the TLX, and yes, the RLX is the flagship model, uh, but at the same time, you know, it's it, what do we got price wise? Uh, 69,990 for the Elite trim and 65,490, I believe for the uh, the tech trim uh, you only get it in two flavors which is to me i like that i don't you don't really need to have me speaking personally you don't need to have so many different um, models in the trim ladder as far as the uh, luxury cars go sure you have it for non-luxury because there's a lot more price points but if you're looking at a seventy thousand dollar car um, you know you have it one way or the other big differences between the elite and the tech are with the uh, tech which is the you know i don't want to say entry level but um, your first option, uh, you do not get cooled seats, you do not get the dimming mirrors, you do not get the chrome colored um, uh, door handles. Um, there's, a, there's a different audio system, it's not the uh, Corel, uh, it's the Acura ELS. Uh, I don't know what it sounds like, but I do know the audio system here sounds absolutely wonderful and fantastic. Um, steering feels good. Um, you know, nice thick steering wheel. Uh, again, the heated aspect of it just happens in a flash. Uh, the Acura Sense, Acura Watch, sorry, sense of uh, safety, safety technology. Uh, it's it's all here. So it's the lane keep assist, the blind spot monitoring, the road mitigation, crash can, uh, crash uh, pre collision alert. Sorry. Um, very interestingly, the seat bolts kind of give you that little tug um, when you buckle them in. Pretty cool little feature there, but when it senses you're coming too close to an object, object too fast, uh, it'll kind of give you a nice little tug as well. Um, I guess pre-tensioning seatbelts as well. Um, kind of a cool thing um, from uh, the friends and the folks over at Acura. Um, what else can I say about the car? I like the way it drives. Uh, it's not going to be the most popular car on the road. And, and it's too bad because Acura has done a lot of good work with the RLX. And okay, you can go in. Just being a courteous driver, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess you guys can't really see what's happening in front of me. Anyways, uh, I'm really happy with the car. I, I like the way it handles. I like the way it drives. Fuel efficiency uh, is pretty good. Um, uh, I should have checked this before. So 355 kilometers uh, on pretty much a full tank. Uh, the uh, fuel figures are, I think it's 8.4 city, 8.2 highway, and that's regardless of the Elite trim or the, uh, the Tech trim. 
So pretty good there, and the hybrid uh, really, really kicks in, makes a difference. But it only happens on the lower, I get up myself out of sport mode. Um, it only happens at very, very low speeds. So you know, you know, I'd like to see it a little more on the active side. But you know, but uh, <laughs> what do you do? Um, yeah, so overall, uh, I'm quite happy with, um, with what Acura's put together here. Uh, as far as the RLX goes, um, average th averaging 13.1. I've uh, done more city driving than highway driving, hence the higher figure. But I think if I did the reverse, uh, I would see my figures more aligned with the um, uh, with what the uh, the actual ratings are. So that's it for the review. Uh, it's another longer than I thought. My apologies for that. Uh, any questions, let me know at jmmodernmississauga.com or on the social media outlets. The car is stopped, and I'm going to use my trusty phone to stop the GoPro. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, we'll be back uh, with a brand-new vehicle review sooner than later.